Part 1 You will hear a conversation between an assistant at a health club and a man who wants to join the club. First, you have some time to look at questions 1 to 5. Hi, can I help you? Hello. Yes, um, is your club taking on new members at the moment? Oh, yes. We're always interested in taking on new members. Just give me a moment and I'll get an application form. Right, here we are. So, let's start with your name. It's Harry. OK. And your surname? It's Simons. Is that like Simon with an S? No, um, it's S-Y-M-O-N-D-S. -S. Most people find it rather difficult to spell. I see. It has a silent D. I guess a lot of people miss that. Now, let me see. Can you tell me when you were born? Yes, certainly. The 11th of December. Thanks. And the year? 1996. OK, good. Now, are you thinking of becoming a full-time member? Uh, probably not. What kind of memberships do you have? Well, we also have off-peak membership, which is between 9 and 12 in the morning and 2 and 5 in the afternoon. And then we do have a weekend membership. So a weekend membership is just Saturday and Sunday? Yes, that's right. OK. Well, that's not going to work for me. It looks like I'll have to be full-time. I'm afraid off-peak membership won't do, as I'm not free at those times, and I don't just want to be restricted to weekends. OK. I'll make a note of that. Right. We have several facilities at the club, including a gym, a swimming pool, tennis and squash courts. What activities are you planning on doing? Well, do you have badminton? Yes, we do. And table tennis? I'm afraid not. Well, not at the moment, anyway. Oh, OK. Well, I'm also very keen on swimming, so I'm glad you have a pool. <laughs> I'll certainly be doing a lot of that. OK, I've got that. Will you be using the gym? No, I'm not interested in that. OK. So just let me work out what the cost will be. Yes, that comes to £450 for the year. You can choose to pay annually for the full year or monthly. It's up to you. Oh, I'd prefer to pay regularly in small amounts rather than have a large amount to pay in one go, if that's OK. Sure, that's fine. Right, I've got the most important details for now. Thank you, now we're done with the first part. Moving on to the second section. You are advised to listen attentively. To score the correct answer, you will have to listen very carefully to the appropriate part of the audio in order to understand what is being talked about. So, I'd just like to go through who's doing what when the guests arrive. And I think we'll make a few changes from the last party held here. 
If I remember correctly, it was Olav who coordinated the task of providing the guests with drinks. Or was it Ahmed? Um, I'm not sure. But Gary asked to do it this time, so that will be his job. There's been no decision yet on what the drinks are going to be, but I hope they decide soon in case we need to order something special. Now, for receiving the guests' coats and hats, it's important we have someone experienced doing this as we don't want guests losing their belongings. And Monica, last time this was your responsibility. Susan, I know you wanted to do this, but as the numbers are quite high for this event, I won't make a change here. Right. Now, last time, there was some confusion as to where guests were supposed to go once they had deposited their things, and we had guests roaming around the whole hotel. So, Ahmed and Olav, I believe you discussed the problems with Susan and thought she would be good at guiding guests after they had arrived. And I'm fine with that. Right, and now for some general instructions. Once the guests have arrived, they will be in and around the lounge area. And then at around 8.30, we need to get them to move to the restaurant for their meal. This often proves difficult and can take a long time. So, I will ring a bell so that everyone knows it's time to eat. Hopefully, this will speed things up a bit. Also, for this event, there'll be a seating plan so the guests won't be able to decide for themselves where to sit. They'll have to sit according to the plan. There will be a plan on each table, and I've been thinking about where to put the master plan so everyone can view it before they enter the restaurant. As they'll be spending quite a while in the lounge, I've decided to also put a plan there. This should speed up the start of the meal. Once the meal starts, you'll all be very busy waiting on the tables and I'm sure I don't need to tell you to be good-humoured and polite to all the guests. The organiser of the event will be saying a few words and so will two of his colleagues. So, when the speeches start, all activity must stop in the restaurant so that the three people giving them can be heard. This shouldn't take long, and it should be towards the end of the meal. After that, the guests will move back to the lounge for the entertainment. So, I think that's it. Any questions? Come and see me later. That is the end of part two. You now have 30 seconds to check your answers to part two.